Hey, this is Dr. Yates live in Chicago. I know we haven't talked to you in a while and it's not been because we've been that busy, even though we're always busy, that we've just had so many exciting things going on that I wanted to tell you about something that we've learned about that I think is gonna take over the nation. And the reason I think so, what do I always say? It's rare, it works, it's very effective, and it's reproducible. That's with everything. When you go out and eat food, I went to my favorite Chinese place. Everything I said applies to that Chinese place. So this is what's gonna apply here today. We're using CO2 therapy. A lot of you don't know much about CO2, but CO2 is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has been found in Europe, actually has been used several years ago, injected into the skin to help the skin. Now I have a lot of people here that are gonna help me explain this concept. And I have Lana Kerr from yeah. Florida, yes. okay? Hi, you wouldn't think she was from Florida, I would think you're from Chicago. Okay, <laughs> she's here visiting us, and she's the owner of the company, CO2 Lift. And we've been working with her all week to understand what CO2 Lift does. So I'm not gonna steal her thunder, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the science, but Lana, in a nutshell, what does CO2 Lift do? Yes. Somebody say, what does it do? What CO2, CO2 Lift is a non-invasive way to put carbon dioxide into the skin. When you put two components together, which we're gonna show you in a minute, and it simulates production of carbon dioxide entering the skin, the mass that it forms actually holds the CO2 in the skin, and then that's where the magic starts, because that's what they call the Bohr effect. And I'll leave that to the doctor to explain right. that to you in a little bit. And the Bohr effect, I just want you to know, that the night they told me about the Bohr effect, the Bohr effect for all you medical students is on every test when you are a freshman in medical school. Which way does the oxyhemoglobin curve switch when you have the Bohr effect, which is carbon dioxide. And I hope I'm right, because I think it switches to the right. And all that means is it makes the hemoglobin molecule suck up oxygen. They always used to teach us like hemoglobin is like a school bus, okay? And then oxygen is the kids on the school bus. The oxygen gets off the bus. But when there's CO2 present, the actual bus gets more friendly and more oxygen is able to get on the bus, okay? So now why is that important? That's important because oxygen is needed to heal any tissue. So in Europe, they injected CO2 under the skin, and actually what they found was by this fancy Bohr effect, shifting of the oxyhemoglobin curve to the right and making everything more acidic, more oxygen actually came into the face and did good things. Like what are the good things that oxygen does? It's anti-inflammatory, that's number one. It stops inflammation and increases healing. And a third thing they found was hydration of the skin increased by a, a big factor. Like, I don't even, you told me the factor, it was a big number, yeah, we right? Did, we're in the process of doing a clinical study, and one of the findings is that after the first application, it increases by 117% into the skin. And then in fact, after they did the regression period, after two weeks of no use of the CO2, mm -hmm. it actually continued, it maintained it, and it never returned back to the original. Wow, Which so that, so that's good. So that means once you use it, you keep getting better. You don't regress. That's yes. like a lot of people who use Rogaine. People, some people call that no gain for hair. If you stop using it, then some of the hair comes out. So this is a good thing. So this, let's be clear. This is a mask. Okay, this is not needles. This is not surgery. And the whole thing will take approximately minimum thirty-five minutes. Ideally, forty-five minutes. Okay, it'll take thirty-five minutes now. Most people, and of course everybody can't tell all the fancy people they do it on, but they've told me, well you haven't told me, but they've hinted that they've done so many red carpet people. So this is something where, say if you have a wedding to go to or you're on the red carpet tonight, you can do right now, we take the mask off, you get dressed, boom, you can go. There's no redness, there's no downtime, there's no puffy this, you just look better. The word now is dewy, okay? When I was growing up, somebody said you were dewy, that don't even sound right, okay? <laughs> but dewy is the word. Is, is, yeah, is that correct? That's the magic okay. word. I need all the help so, I can get. So now, I'll be this easy. person in the middle is gonna get very dewy, okay? Yay! So Lana, tell us what she should expect. So why, first of all, who are candidates for what we should do? Okay. Like, who are the people great. we should be doing this on? Well, this is a great generational type of product. Uh -huh. So you look at, first of all, young people in their 20s. The young people, as my grandmother would say. The <laughs> young, young people. people. Okay. Uh -huh. What do they? I mean, they really don't have any lines on their skin. One of the things that they start to lack is the is is that look of that baby bottom. You know, the baby bottom, like that look that 
full of water because this brings so much water to the to the cells they get that plump look that dewy look that he was talking about so the 20 year old generation then we get into the 30s and mid 30s where they start getting the lines well why because they're what? old <laughs> okay that's I mean, yeah. exactly. I'm in my 40s. Okay. I don't think I'm old yet. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the 30s. Well, I'm well past that. But <laughs> okay. Continue, I'm sorry. So in the 30s, you want to mm -hmm. prevent it. Mm -hmm. And this is a great preventative because, again, just even on the hydration factor, mm -hmm. you, don't get, you don't get old, you dry up. So if you're actually filling your cells with water, you're going to prevent those lines, those fine lines from forming, which turn into deeper lines. But then you have the late 40s, 50s, and 60s that have the lines already. This could help to plumb those lines out. Um, I mean, of course, our, our, the studies are showing that it's increasing in collagen, elastin, all those other things below the skin, but what you can actually physically see is just a youthfulness that you have. Your makeup will come on better. You can actually walk out of the house and you don't have to feel like, oh my God, I have to put on makeup And it's immediate. It's immediate. You don't get that effect where we're in Chicago where we see women walking down the street and we think a grenade has hit them because they've had all these lasers, you know, these ablative lasers that they'll say, oh, don't worry, honey. In six weeks, you'll look beautiful. This is immediate. The mask comes off, you are ready to go. I think that is so good, and I think that is so rare. Just that alone, and it works. Uh, what's the usual schedule that, and what's the recommended schedule for this? So, okay, depending on the age group, but uh -huh. if it's depending on the skin, if you wanted reverse age, five to 10 treatments done weekly, mm -hmm. um, that's a series, and then you can maintain it with every two to three weeks. Okay. So five to 10 weekly, so that we'll make it simple, like say do it for a month every week, okay, or up to two months, and then just to maintain that, then do it every other month or every month? Every month. Okay, every so, month, every month. so you do it for two months, we'll make it really easy. We would do it for two months, you know, once a week, because who wouldn't, would not want to look better? And then after that, we would do it once a month as maintenance, okay? And it's a mask, we do it here, it takes 30 minutes, I can't see why it, anybody would want to do it. So, so let's start. We're going to start with Robin. We've chosen Robin's skin because she, you know, of course, is fair skin, and her skin is always redder. You know, this kind of rosacea look. So we want to see actually if we can get her more plumpness to her skin. You know, she doesn't have much many lines here. You know, so her skin looks good. But we're going to see what we can do. Lana, what do you think yes. here? I think that she's definitely going to see something. I mean, and we're going to do her neck. And we're also going to treat her hands. Her hands. Um, a lot of women want their hands to be taken care of as well. Um, so you're, we're going to put, um, when we're applying it, because we're applying it right up to the lash line and above, right around the eyes, what other treatment can you really put there that's gentle enough to put right around the eyes that's not going to be, that's not going to bother her and that she's going to get results? Because that's really, the eyes are really what people see first. So we're going to soften the lines around her eyes and um, hopefully we'll get, I mean, obviously we're just doing one treatment. So let's do the results, but we're going to see less redness in her skin. We're going to get a plumpiness to her skin. We're going to get a dewiness to her skin in just we're doing one treatment today. Right. So just, just to make it clear, so say tonight if she was, you know, getting married, okay, or she was going to a wedding or if she were going to a party, she could do this right now and feel assured that she would look better. Okay. Yes. So we just got to keep things simple. See. What's option C? Going to a party. Okay. She <laughs> said she said she's going to option C. But still, all those options were good ones because these this is not a treatment where you have to hide. And you see those uh, TV shows where they do all that surgery and you have to hide for six months and then they show you again. No hiding, okay? So let's start, okay? Let's start. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Anna, or you look like anybody else you know. This is for the human way. Excuse me, for the human race. Some people say, well, what race does this work for? <laughs> this works for the human race. I love that. Okay. Dr. Yes, do you want to see them is the mix? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I've seen it many times, but I'll see it again. For, for, the, for our public. Yeah. yeah, for our public. Let's come on in and let's see how it's mixed. It's very so, simple. Very simple. This is, um, this is the first, this is the base. I'm going to get everything in. Come on in there and see the base. Is activator here now between the base and the activator that's where actual carbon dioxide is made yes yes so that's why we have to as soon as we mix it we, we need to apply it right away right I just want to make sure 
And I know some of my friends are thinking, is this like champagne? Because champagne is made by infusing carbon dioxide too. Did you know that? I wasn't talking to Lano. I was talking to somebody else. Okay. And they said no, they did not know that. But that's how champagne's made. So we're kind of making champagne for we're the making face. making champagne. Mm -hmm. yeah. The wonderful thing about this, and I have to give Lana and her husband credit, is that it's a wonderful and it's safe. Everybody wants to know about safety, you know, when medicine is very safe. It will do no harm. The only it thing you good. can lose is time and energy and not look better. So why would you not want to do it? This is something that you would want to do. That's it. And the proof is in the pudding, and that's it. That's, that's it. the mixing process. So let's apply. And I think we're ready. Are we're we ready. ready to apply? We're ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable? Yes. yes. Okay. Now we, we're not using any anesthesia. We're not using anything that will require anything. Okay. Okay. Right. Can I ask you to hold this? You can. Sure. I'm I would love sorry, to hold that. Okay. okay. So we're going to put. Start with the eyes. Start with the eyes. Let me make sure. And usually, this is enough. Is it enough for the treatment of the decollete no, too? I'm gonna mix another one. For oh, we're gonna mix another one. Yes. This is gonna go, but not as far. And I want to do her hands as yeah. well. So. I get. Feel to the touch. Yeah. How does it feel? Is it hurting you? Very cool. Feels very, very, cool. very, very nice. Very no, cool. it feels great. How's it smell? Very fruity. It smells very clean. I like it. Kind of orangey, citrusy. Mm -hmm. it's citrusy. It's, even though it's touching her eyes, it's nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Are you feeling anything tingly? No. Nope. Good. That was a test question. <laughs> She's not. Is there any area particular you would like her to focus on? The whole body. <laughs> we might be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> And the results I've seen with this, and people come back once a week to do it, and we're one of the only offices here in Chicago that do it. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody who works here is so dewy. <laughs> people have said, Dr. Yates, why does everybody who works at your office look so dewy? And I, I don't tell them. But now you're seeing it. Robin, are you okay? Uh -huh. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. I would be probably oh him. You know we're on Facebook Live, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know she's talking I'm, about I'm me the, on Facebook I'm Live. Busy. I'm usually the assistant. Yeah. He usually just does it. Okay. Can I turn this way? Yes, you can do that. Okay. We'll switch sides. We'll switch sides. And I must say, she has, see this here? These are uh, these anti-thyroid, these superficial side. thyroid veins. <laughs> these are good. Oh. They're very good. When I used to do thyroid surgery, we'd always look for those. <laughs> You're a candy lady. No, her thyroid, I don't really see much there. I think she's okay there. Yeah, that's another another day. We're gonna we're gonna go further down. Now you were saying something that this about stretch lines. What what were you saying about stretch lines? Because women come in all the time and ask about stretch lines. Men do too. Yeah, but this that was with the needles because the skin in those areas are just too thick for this to penetrate. Okay, so this would not be something for stretch lines. No. So what about for acne? People, yes. young kids that yes. have tried everything, all those things they see on TV that are that rhyme with jactive. You yes. know that they see. You know, yes. you know. And also for eczema, dryness, and this, because again, dryness. You know, but acne, great, because again, inflammation. Mm -hmm. It's going to remove waste, and so. Okay. Here, okay. Right? Right. And here we go. We mix some more CO two for our lovely model, Miss McIntyre. Now, we're doing the same thing. So theoretically, what's happening? Okay. CO2 is being infused into her skin. We know CO2 can be absorbed by the skin, okay? So CO2, you have to think what's happening beneath the skin now, okay? Forget what all this looks like, okay? 
CO2 is going beneath her skin. The Bohr effect, that fancy word, everybody wants to know about that, okay? Forget about it. All it is is CO2 is going under her skin. It's allowing the molecule that carries hemoglobin to, to get more oxygen to heal her skin because there's free oxygen flowing around in the bloodstream. So it's allowing that oxygen to bind to the hemoglobin, okay? It's reducing the inflammation and it's making more blood vessels grow in and it makes the blood vessels in the area thicker. That's the effect what CO2 does. That's just like if you hold your breath for so long. That's why you have to, at some point, you can't hold your breath forever. Why? Because you build up so much CO2 that your body says, hey, you better breathe now, it's too late. And everybody can't fight that effect. That's still the Bohr effect, okay? So. I love how you explain it. So what's happening now, same thing. CO2 is going beneath the skin. You know, the, we call it the hemoglobin train. It's taking on more passengers of oxygen. Oxygen is healing the skin. As that hemoglobin actually goes to the lungs, it gets more oxygenated. When it goes back to her face, it drops off even more oxygen. Okay? So it's kind of like the thought of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. You know, it's a little bit like that, but you know why it's different? That hyperbaric oxygen therapy will, per, will not provide the hydration of the skin. Okay? We can talk about the hemoglobin and the other things, but it won't provide the hydration. Hydration is so important. What makes people look older than younger? Most of it's pure hydration. That's why everybody's getting fillers, because you lose fat and hydration. So if we can reproduce those things, you know, and able to do that once a week, would you call that a win? I would call that a win. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. It's been 45 minutes, actually. We took a little longer. The, the CO2 mask usually stays on between 35 minimum to 45. So we wait a little longer. Robin was up and down because in the daytime, she just can't stay still, like most of us. So what you're going to see, if you notice here, the, the, the mask went a little lower than we want. But what we're gonna do is just start taking some off and then pause, get it all off, and then do the reveal. Is that okay? All right, so let me show you how it works coming off. We take back our stick, and just to show you, it's actually, I love this part. Mm. I love this part. All right, so we just finished taking off the CO2 lift treatment from Robin's skin, and we're gonna be posting before and after so you can check it out for yourself. And Robin, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Tell me a little bit about how you felt when it was on, how you feel about your skin now. It feels wonderful, and my skin is super sensitive, as you can probably see. I've got some skin disorders, but I'm very fair-skinned, very sensitive skin, so even the lightest of chemical peels, even with lactic acid, it's very hard for me to tolerate. This felt fabulous the whole time. It felt very soothing, hydrating. I could just feel the moisture just coming into my skin. So the entire time it felt great, it felt very cool. It has a really nice citrus smell to it. Um, taking it off was really fun. It's like uh, peeling off uh, glue from your skin like when you're little so that was fun and it felt great nothing ever hurt nothing was sensitive to me it just felt very nourishing and right now it feels great I know my skin doesn't it looks a hundred times better than it did before even though I still like a little oh, Robin, yucky Robin, 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 Robin. <laughs> I need to paint my no. bar in here but it feels great and I think it's gonna get better over the next week or so um, and I'll do it again next week my hands feel much better they still look discolored, but that's um, normal for me, but they feel great. They're not as rough as they were, um, and this will get better too. They also change colors a little bit when I'm cool, and I'm a little cool right now. So, But everything feels great and looks better. I looked at the pictures right afterwards, my before and after, and it already looks better. So. I'm excited. And now all she'll just you'll put on is just moisturizer some and some, 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 yeah, and some sunscreen and, sun and you're ready to go. Yeah. So I'm so glad, Robin, you're Thank such a you. good sport. Thank, Thank you for you so allowing much. us. I, really I mean, I don't know what you. Dr. Yates, who is really the star of this whole thing, he's, he's with a patient. A star. <laughs> <laughs> he's with a patient now. So we're just going to wrap up and, uh, and call it a day. So have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks.